Namrata, you can start. Okay. Uh, good evening, and I heartily welcome to all present over here. Uh, I, Namrata Padkiri, shall be the host for today's session. So here I am with another webinar session uh, on community health with Anajuri. So uh, first of all, I would like to give a brief introduction about Anajuri. So Anajuri, as the name suggests, its literal meaning is the bond of love. Milin Datta is the founder of Anajuri, and it is his unconditional love for his native land, which brought him back from USA to Assam again to work on a non-profitable organization which engages and promotes various initiatives um, such as uh, leadership skills, striving for social change, and also building entrepreneurship capabilities among the people living in Northeast India. So um, for a couple of months, we have been uh, in engagement with various speakers uh, from different regions of Northeast India. And we have uh, sort of tried to create awareness among, uh, among the people about certain very significant and important topics uh, of today's generation, of today's present day. So uh, coming back to today's session, uh, I would like to tell you today's topic of discussion. Uh, it's a talk on, uh, it's, it's a talk on uh, addictive disorders. So here today we have our guest among us. His name is Dr. Trubajyoti Bhuya. Uh, he is an associate professor of psychiatry in Assam Medical College uh, and Hospital in Dibrugarh. He has primary interest in uh, mental health, uh, anxiety, depression, and behavioral disorders of childhood adolescence. He also loves helping people towards their optimal mental health. And he has been uh, awarded with uh, awards such as uh, Dr. Bhim Rao Ambedkar Award in 2019, then Best Young Faculty Award in 2018, and then Vikas Averla Award in 2017. So uh, welcome, sir, to today's session. And now I would like you to take over the screen. Please, sir. OK, thank you so much. Uh, so at the outset, I must thank the organizers for giving me the opportunity to share my thoughts about addictive disorders. But before I start, let me give a very honest disclaimer that being a psychiatrist and being a doctor, doctors are usually the most boring creature on the earth. So probably you will have to bear with my boring kind of deliberation for half an hour or so. So please bear with me. And the, the person who is delivering this might be boring, but the subject is not boring at such because it is a very... A pertinent and burning topic because nowadays everywhere you will come across certain people who are being suffered from addictive disorders. May it be substance addiction, may it be certain behavior addiction. Now let me make the things very clear that uh, what is addiction or behavioral addiction or chemical addiction? We in general, call it as dependence, actually. Okay. Now, there are many myths regarding these disorders, and people always think that those who are addicted to certain substances or behavior, they are basically mentally weak or they have got certain flaws in their character. But let me make one thing very clear that these are the people who are suffering from a medically sanctioned disease. Addiction is a disease. How it is a disease, let's talk about that. See, every one of us have got our own interest, own likings, own dislikings, and these are being controlled by our brain. Whatever we think, whatever we behave, how we feel, how we perceive things, how we judge the situation, all these are controlled by our brain, and brain controls it through certain neurochemicals. 
different areas of the brain have got different functions. And one such area, we call it as reward center. There are different areas of the brain which are incorporated or included in this reward center. I won't go into details of all those medical jargons because uh, it will make my deliberation more boring. So I should attempt to reduce that boredom. So whatever we like it, that suppose you are fond of music, then whenever you listen to music, your reward center is stimulated and neurochemical is secreted from that area. And this neurotransmitter, we call it as dopamine. Suppose you are fond of uh, certain foods or certain kind of cinemas, and when you are uh, into that, your reward center will be stimulated and you will enjoy that. There are certain group of people who won't uh, feel that kind of uh, enjoyment in normal pleasurable activities. Their basic defect lies in the reward center. So what happens? So when they take these substances or any kind of behavior such as uh, taking his or her mobile phone and playing games, these will stimulate his or her reward center. And as a result of which, there will be excess secretion of dopamine. And that will give them the pleasure. And different areas of the brain will remember this event that if that person is looking at or doing that activity, it is producing some amount of pleasure. 